I think I speak for the majority here at CBC Sports to say we are thrilled for the inaugural season of the Northern Super League to get underway. We officially have names and logos for all six teams and to break it all down and to start chatting about it, the very own Shireen Ahmed of CBC Sports. What's your initial reaction? I love them. I actually really like the colors, they're vibrant, but my favorite thing about this, Brittany, is the reference to nature. Choosing regions of representing topical geography of Canada is such a win. You've got the mountains rising out of Vancouver. You've got the tides from Halifax, rapid from Ottawa to signal the Ottawa River. Like it's just really smart. The wild, of course, Calgary, roses in Montreal. I didn't know that was an actual thing. <laughs> but then you have Toronto being going a little bit different. Toronto. Doing like typical what could be considered like in the vein of Italian football clubs and going just very basic, very simple, very classic. Right, so we're gonna break them down one by one and we're gonna get competitive because we're gonna have to rank them. And in yeah. order to rank them, we have to agree. And so yes. this is a full opinion piece here. We're gonna start off with Vancouver though. As we're going to see on our screen, the Vancouver Rise, the colors are teal, gold, and black. Break it down for me, initial reaction. How do you feel about this one? So this is no surprise. I love the coasts of Canada. It always comes down to the best from the east or the west. I think that the West really nailed this. I think it's it's not easy to come up with a logo, but to do one that really encompasses the nature that like one of the biggest strengths of the West Coast is obviously the mountains. Yeah. And to do that, the colors, I do like the gold. I do like the sun coming out of it, which could also be interpreted as a crown. I do like it and rise to like rise to meet the level of exceptionality. There's a lot of storied soccer players from the Vancouver mm -hmm. area. We all know who they are. Christine Sinclair is now a co-owner of this mm -hmm. team. You know, there's nods to things, nods to the history and the context, and I think they nailed it. I think it's strong. I will be honest with you. This is one of my favorites. So off the top, it's hard to start with one good one, but where would you put this one? I'm going to say two. Okay. Yeah, hi. Honestly, hi. I thought you were going to go a bit lower because I know you have a few in the mix that you're a really big fan of. <laughs> yeah. So I will go with two. I think to start us off, we're both strong at the two. I agree. Okay. I love the colors. I think the contrast is really nice. I love the inclusion of the mountains. And as you mentioned, nature is just kind of the forefront of this whole league. It was strong to me. And I say we start at two. Yep. Look at us. Agreed. We're already on the same page. <laughs> okay, perfect. Next, we are going to go to the Ottawa Rapids FC. Now, this is less contrast in colors. Yeah. But initially, you know, we see more nature still incorporated. Mm -hmm. What are our thoughts? So it took me a second. I do actually really like the logo. I think it's strong, rapid referencing, as I mentioned, Ottawa River Algonquin, all these kinds of things. I'm a little bit, I pause on the colors. Mm -hmm. I feel it had this been a deep navy blue with like a purple contrast. Yep. I think that would have done more for me. I feel like this is light. I'm also thinking about the kits and the colors and the white and the blue being light color and dirty and doing laundry, maybe just because I'm a mom and I think about that. These graphic designers, like, you need to hire you. Yeah, this well, is brilliant. You know, the I, color that you're wearing, I think, would have stood out oh, so much better with the white. I, absolutely. And referencing the water in that way, mm -hmm. I think it would have mm -hmm. been... I just think the blue is a little too light. I do love the logo and it, can, it also looks like a bird. It's a, Bel me. it's a Pellegrine falcon. It's a Pellegrine. Native to yeah. Ottawa and the fastest animal on earth. Did you know that? I know I didn't know that. I did not. I thought it was a cheetah. I thought it was some type of, like, some type of feline. A peregrine. Yes. Okay, okay. so light blue is yeah. the color, as you see, but they also have a neon accent of orange. Okay, so that... What do you feel about the orange? I love neon. Okay. I think neon works really great on a pitch. I do like the... I didn't know it's looking at this, that there would be that. I do yeah. love a good contrast, and obviously we have goalkeepers who wear bright colors to contrast the team, of course, for their position, but I do love that. I do like a little bit of chaos, okay. and I feel the contrast would work. So I feel a little bit better, but it's still not going to be number one for Where me. are we putting it? Five. Five. Okay. Five. I, like, I'm not going to agree with you on all of them, but I truly, I was going to say with this one, I was going five or six. So okay. to be honest, I'm happy with five. We do have the ability. We're calling our own. We're making our own games here. We have our caveats. At the end, we're going to re-rank to make sure we're happy. Okay. It's not like that filter where you have to decide on the spot. So okay. we're going to be able to review. I'm happy with five. Let's go with five. Okay. I like these okay. rules. On to the next. We're going Calgary FC. Violet and red are the colors. Tell me about your thoughts. I do like this. I think it's very subtle because it took a second for me to see the bird. It took yeah. a second for me. And I'm like, is that a cattle? Because you think Alberta, you think mm -hmm. cattle. 
but I do really like this. I think it's very simple. I think we could just leave it at that. It's, it's effective. It's good, and I think people will rally behind it easily. I can see supporters groups loving this logo. It feel, This one feels very soccer to me, and I don't know what yeah. about it is screaming soccer, but I feel like between the shield and the animal and the fact, like you said, you see the FC, maybe central, but I agree, like I can see this over shirts everywhere, and I can see yeah. communities getting excited about it, of course. Calgary is going to be thrilled. Um, I don't know, though. Are we putting this in the middle? I don't call this our worst, but I also don't call this our best. I, I agree with you. I feel like I'd be okay with a three or a four. Maybe okay. a four? I'm thinking. Four? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go because, four. yeah, I do also like the colors. I think the colors work. I like that contrast. That looks like a purple to me almost. Like it's yep. a deep. It's a violet. It's a they violet. They called it violet. I do that. Violet also being the color of women. Yes. Internationally like that. Do like red. I associate red with Alberta for some mm -hmm. reason. I agree. In sports teams. Maybe it is between, yeah. Flamey yeah. It's sort true. of. It's true. Orange and reds, I guess. Okay. We are going to head to Toronto. We're leaving that one at four for now. Okay. And what do we feel about the maroon and vermilion of the Toronto FC? So, AFC Toronto, I actually like the colors a lot. Vermilion, I like. It's also very Toronto mm -hmm. to make up a name of a color that we're like, what is that even? We've never heard of it. Is Was it in our original Crayola box? No, but that says a lot about Toronto being like, we're going vermilion. Yeah. You know what I mean? I actually really like this because of the classic nod to either Italian football clubs or yep. AFC or that kind of FC being in the name. I liked this a lot more than yeah. I thought I would. I do really like the symbol here. I do, and I think maybe just because I'm so about the traffic on the gardener, I see, <laughs> I see the lanes. <laughs> these, these are the highways. This is what traffic. This is what your commute home is, Shireen. So, but uh, uh, on the whole, I do really like. This and one. I'm a proud Torontonian, but I just thought this was so Toronto when they said create a brand that was built in Toronto by Toronto for Toronto. Oh yeah. And the fact that it's one of the only one of the six that doesn't have a mascot. Yeah. I know that's pretty common in the world of football. Yes. So it's AFC makes sense there, but we do have to rank it. Are we putting this above or below? Like now we have the three slot, the one slot, and the six slot. I think I would go three for this one. I agree. It's definitely not my worst. Oh yeah, it's and not so, six. And I don't think we can put it at number one. Okay, I, I we genuinely we do agree on a lot, which is is very uh, which is good. It's it's noticeable here, yes. and these are hard decisions because yes. I think in theory we're pretty impressed by all six of these logos, right? Like we could yeah. sit here and. You know, bash everything all day, but I genuinely think they look great together. I and mean, this of is course, cohesive. of course, there's some like feedback that I would have, and some that like I wouldn't buy that right. shirt first. I would would buy to support generally, yeah. and because journalists as such don't have teams that they support specifically. But we know so, <laughs> we know where your heart lies. And speaking of. Our next one is going to be the Halifax Tide. Expose Tide. me! <laughs> and we talk about how you wouldn't buy merch, but let's all be honest, this is probably the first merch that you are going to buy. I already have a hat. <laughs> <laughs> um, the hat was a gift, I'll just say that, but in, like honestly, for me, Tide's the name. I'm born and raised in Halifax. Absolutely loved it. I think the colors were beautiful. They signal power, they signal strength, and it's giving Zeus or some type of water goddess vibe. I do really like it. I like the FC at the bottom, the straight lines of Halifax at the top, which also reminds me of old Metro Transit buses at the top. Like and We're getting deep here. It is. I, I love it. And I like these colors. I look very good in teal. <laughs> it's all about what does Shereen look best in. What do I in? look good in? Um, but I do, I just think it was beautifully done. Yeah. And the colors are very specific in this one. Ocean Cyan, yeah. Granite Purple, and Ship Grey. Yeah. So they're really pulling into that ocean element. One thing I do have to critic because we haven't had a ton of critiques here. That middle, I know it's the wave, but is there not just a bit of busy movement? Like, are you clear on what that symbol is? So it's like this Triton-esque sort of, okay. you know, I, I really feel like it is, but tides are busy, they're right. chaotic. And the point is to take the power from the Maritimes, from the ocean, from the, you know, briny ocean tossed, I'm gonna throw in some words there from the East Coast, to really put it together. And for me, it is not yeah. always simple. Toronto is going for that clean aesthetic. Okay. This has been a little bit more not so in that same vein as of aesthetic. It's a little different. So I actually liked this, not specifically because of the geography, I'll be honest, but I actually <laughs> like 
that. I am chaotic in my head. Right. This is what my brain looks like. Yeah. Okay, but taking away bias, we now have one and six. Is this the best or the worst? I will say this. I don't think this is six. I think this is one for me. Okay, see, this is where we might need a bit of a reorg. Because okay. I don't think this is one. Okay. But I also don't think this is six. I agree. So where would you put it? I want to put this at number two. Obviously, we don't have it available. But we're, maybe if we, I put it above Vancouver. But the one coming up next is a tough one. <sighs> okay, let's leave it at two. Okay. And then let's talk a bit about our most recent unveiling of a logo, which just happened a few days ago. Yeah. We are going to see the Roses FC from yeah. Montreal. Yeah. First reaction. Mid. Really? Yeah. I love the bilingualism of it. Yeah. I was speaking with my friend, Dr. Barbara Ravel, about it. What she thought, because I really was like, because I tend to support Montreal teams, generally. And when you mm -hmm. look at the way and not to switch sports, but just to move the lens for a minute. Always. For me, Montreal nailed it with PWHL and Victoire. Mm -hmm. I thought their head and tails above everybody else. This, for me, didn't, didn't hit home. I just think the big rose, it's too much Portland for me. Thorns, you know, roses being rose sit. I just, I didn't know Montreal was big on roses. I think of bagels, for me, would have been a little bit more. <laughs> the Montreal bagels. Ba I would have, you know, St. You would have bought one. <laughs> St. Viateur is a legend in this country. Like, I just, I like the, the, like the typeface, like the font. I don't, it's not, I don't know. Okay, fair. Okay, so. I do love one thing I will kind of fight back on the colors because we're talking logos, we are talking names, but also colors. And I think these contrast really strongly against each other. I see the blue. Yeah. It's They're calling it a blue. It's a purpley blue. And then they have red as an accent color and then gold. But to me, when I look at this, I see the gold. I think of, you know, I, I know Montreal to celebrate this unveiling. They had a bunch of the women's champions that are currently training out of there, whether it's hockey or so many other sports. And I think of some of the legacy of sport within Montreal and that gold really stands out to me. So I do like it. And it's clear. I don't know what about it to me, but I love like a clear, firm logo. Yeah. I am a Toronto sports fan, so maybe that's saying something about me. But <laughs> I truly think like I see this and I would buy the merch. Okay. So for me, I like, I agree with you on the gold. I yeah. think that their launch was probably the most hype. Yeah. It was fantastic. And you want to see that community. The community of yes. women's sports in Toronto is so strong. It's one, sometimes I feel people sleep on Montreal for right. women's sports. I love it. The color for me, okay, so how we see it on a screen is also different of how we'll see it on a kit. Right. So I think this would pop on a black kit. Yeah. I think this would be beautiful. Yeah. Is it my favorite necessarily aesthetically? I, no. no. But I agree with you. I think the purple was off a couple shades, but I do like the typeface. I do like the way the shield comes out. And again, yeah. the, the, like, okay. the, the unveiling was lit. And we like a lit party. We love a lit party. And I truly, like you said, it reminded me of community. And maybe it's also that it's freshest in my mind. And, yeah. you know, I, I truly love the idea that they brought the everyone together from Montreal to celebrate it. Yeah. But now we have a difficult decision. I definitely, I can't morally put it at six. Okay. I'm happy to okay. bump Ottawa, Ottawa down. down. Okay, so okay. we're happy to bump Ottawa. So Ottawa, we're going six. Mm -hmm. And then do we bump? Does, oh, see, are we... Yeah, I don't think I can put the roses at five either. Really? Okay, so how about we do this? We put Calgary down one. Yeah, I think that needs to happen. So our four for Calgary goes down to five. I agree. Are we putting Toronto down to four and then putting... Yes, I think Toronto has to go down again. You know, I we, we are based out of Toronto, but let's be real here. When we're just looking at these logos... I've got to put the rose, and I agree, I think Halifax is beautiful, and I love the colors, but it leaves a, a scattered brain very confused, <laughs> in my opinion, and the roses, I'm going to defend slightly here. I love, I think my top three are those top three. I think it's between Vancouver, we have Halifax, and we have Montreal. Are we happy with those top three? I would switch out Toronto for Montreal. I just, I for, for me, the, the, the clean lines of Toronto are that they're just in line with the history of football for me. Like yeah. I would, it's not the pizzazziest, but I love the clean lines. I do love the significance of roses. Again, like you said, the gold is really impactful and of course, but for me, I would do, 
I can't believe I'm putting Vancouver ahead of the East Coast, but I feel like I would do Vancouver, Halifax, Toronto, and then Montreal. Okay. So we're teammates. We love a good compromise here. Yes, yes. I agree with you that Toronto is is in the mix there, and I like the lines, and you talked a little bit too much about traffic, maybe some PTSD there, but <laughs> I think our compromise could be if we are willing to leave Toronto, where it is at four, uh-huh. put the roses in at three, because I would put the roses at two, you would put the roses at four. Yes. So three could kind of be our middle ground. Okay. Are we okay with that? You're such a diplomat, negotiator. <laughs> I'm like, yes, I'm about to fight. What for do you want to buy from me? Want... Okay, so we'll go there. Okay. And then now we have to pick our number one. This one's hard. Yeah. Take any heart out of it. You're just looking at those symbols, symbols on your screen. Which of those two is the strongest logo? Very impartially, I would probably, my visceral reaction is actually Vancouver. Because you can make a hat or a tiara out of the top of that logo, and I would do that. I would wear that as a hat if the marketing department of Rise is listening. <laughs> hey, Steph Labe, call me. Um, you can literally make foam hats yeah. from the mountains, and I think that would be incredible. You can write songs about yeah. it easily like I just I also like if I you do need a really, love ballad about Vancouver there we're you here go. So we're available I, think, I do I think there's strength I'm not surprised that a lot of creativity came from both those coasts and I think they're really good and people in Ottawa we love you this isn't personal <laughs> I think for me that one comes down to the contrast I'll be honest like yeah. maybe it is that we're looking at it on a screen and I'm yeah. so excited to see the neon orange being oh, brought into it yeah I think we we're we're happy with Vancouver one and then sliding Halifax into two. There's yeah. our list. There's our list. What's our reaction? Oh. Well done. Teamwork makes a dream work. Absolutely. I think what I think is the best part about this all is this is the starting point. These mm. brands are just getting started as the players, as the teams, as the fan base, as the excitement continues to unfold. So this is today's kind of overview, mm-hmm. but there's more to come. Maybe just a quick thought from you about how excited you are for a women's professional Canadian soccer league. Absolutely. And I really appreciate this and thank you for having me here. But also, this is really important. I wasn't sure in my lifetime if I would be able to cover a women's domestic mm-hmm. league in Canada. It For years and years and years, I've been chirping about there was no professional hockey league, mm-hmm. basketball league, or soccer league, and we are ranked top 10 in FIFA consistently, Mm -hmm. and we're the only country to not have a domestic women's league. And it took a lot of brawn and brains and strength and emotional everything for this to happen. And people in this league, we see you, we hear you. And there's community, fans, media, waiting, players, like, you know, ready to get in and go all in on this. And it's high time. Canada deserves the best women's soccer in the world. Absolutely. And special shout out to the strong women that made it happen. Of course, Diana Matheson being one of the great leaders (laughs) behind it. We do want to hear, though, from everyone at home, what do you think of our list? We're going to give you a last look now. Feel free to weigh in. Tell us what we did or didn't do wrong. If you like the points, if we have other things to consider when we're going through it. But, of course, we are looking forward to soccer in April professionally here in Canada. We're going to have coverage here on CBC Sports. Thank you for your time, Shereen. It was so fun to chat about Thank it. you. I actually <laughs> really want to hear from people in Winnipeg because okay. they're in the middle of the country. I want to know what they think. Who are they going to support? Exactly. There's so much left <laughs> unsaid. Let's continue these conversations. But thanks for chatting. 